Hello all, <laughs> how are you doing today? Uh, for those of you guys who don't know me and are new to this community, welcome. I am so grateful and excited to have you here. Um, so, uh, my, and for those of you guys who don't know me, my name's Deb Acker. <laughs> um, so here's the deal. Uh, we have a lot to cover today, so I wanna actually just dive right in. Um, there's so many cool things that are happening right now on the planet. Um, so many things that are inviting us to really to clear out our past stuff, our past stories, our past beliefs that are not working for us and clear out all of those, that old junk and really to usher in, to move in to the new. And um, I'm feeling the effects of this and it's really actually like, it's really exciting because I can feel the shift and the change that's happening. Um, and it's actually interesting. So I don't know if you can see, I'm wearing my Badass Cafe sweatshirt, which I got when I was in college, like 20 years ago. <laughs> but wearing it now, um, so I love it. It's just, it's a comfortable sweatshirt. It's really big, actually. So um, in any case, uh, I want to share with you a couple of stories, first of all, that happened. Um, some of this has been happening in the last month, and then some of this has been happening. One, one of these stories has happened within the last week. So the first story I want to share with you, which is actually it's so super awesome, and it was really interesting to kind of um, experience it, get the awarenesses that were coming in, and then to, to see, whoa, this is like, this really shifted for me. So last week I was getting home from Florida. I was in um, teaching workshops in Florida, and um, I was getting home from uh, these workshops and I flew in, I typically don't fly in at midnight, but I flew in, I, my flight landed around a little before midnight, like maybe like 11 o'clock, 11.30. And so typically, I live in Chicago, and so typically I take the train when I get home and just hop on the train, it's really easy, it takes me pretty close to my house and um, uh, get the bus or uh, um, a ride share from there. But this time, you know, because it was so late, I was like, okay, I'm going to take a cab. But I'm like, okay, you know, I'm gonna do a ride share to try to save money. So it being the time of night that it was, I didn't, um, uh, I like, I wasn't able to get a ride share unless I was going to walk over to Terminal 2 and I didn't really want to walk over to Terminal 2 because I had heavy stuff with me. So in any case, as much as like, so one of my pet peeves, for those of you guys who know me, know like one of my pet peeves, I hate wasting money. And my perception of wasting money is all around um, like, taking cabs that's that like is like a waste right so there's like it's just stuff like that right where it's like you're like you're taking um taking cabs or something else I did last week where I was like oh this is like such a waste <laughs> so oh like parking yeah parking's the other thing so like things that are involved like parking taking cabs all that so in any case um I was like well I guess I'm taking a cab so it dawned on me as I as I was in this cab on this cab ride. So it's about twenty to thirty minutes, give or take, um, to my house in a cab. And it dawned on me when I was in this cab ride, wow, this is like a, if I choose it, right? This is a really great activation for me to really lean in to kind of breathing into like it's okay to spend this money right because there's something within me that was taught you don't waste money right like you don't spend money on parking you don't spend money on cabs like i'm happy to spend money on a lavish meal like things that i enjoy but like things like that i'm like no you don't do that right and so you know as i'm taking this ride i started to lean into the energy and that like that feeling of like wanting to hold on and be like oh you don't want to spend 50 bucks on a cab ride <laughs> to my house right and you know felt the shift but i was kind of inner in the mediary you know in 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 like in between the shift on that ride right so i leaned into it um allowed myself to start to expand so later that week and this never happens either but later that week um i work out at this gym and they have uh, validated parking and there's one day of the week when i go to the gym and i end up being there for basically about three hours give or take and the validation finishes at the three hour mark and so I thought I was like doing good on my time and everything. And I got to, and I didn't realize that there, it's not just, it's like you, if you get there at the three hour mark, if you're three hours and 27 seconds over, which is what happened to me, you actually get charged like the full rate or a, it's a discounted rate, but it's a, it's a, you know, it's four times the rate. So anyways, that happened to me, right? And um, I could feel, so it was interesting because this shift, uh, the thing happening earlier in the week with like spending money on a cab, right? Spending just like a full rate on a cab, which I haven't done in ages. And then also uh, spending like, you know, a full rate for this parking, 
the two of them put together shifted something in me. Like it was like all of a sudden I felt very like okay to um, to spend that money, right? And so it was just something, it was like so super cool. Um, and if you're joining us, say hi. But it was so super cool to have that experience of leaning in to the abundance, right? Of leaning into that space of, oh my goodness, like, wow, like that feels really, really good. So anyways, I wanna share that story with you. There's another story I wanna share, but I'll have to share it another time because I actually do have some place to go <laughs> in about um, 20 minutes here or something. So in any case, so I wanna to start to clear. So part of what we're talking about today is clearing the past, right? And the past is coming up. So guys, just so you know, it's collective energy. We're being invited to let go of any story, like that story I just told you, right? We're being invited to let go of any story that's not really serving us, right? That's, that's not really supporting us. As I let go of that, all of a sudden it's like more abundance comes in, right? Because I'm allowing for that flow and I'm trusting, right? Because there's that space if I'm holding on to, you know, in this situation, if I'm holding on to that money and I'm like, oh my God, I don't wanna spend $50 on cab and I don't wanna spend, you know, whatever, $20, $30 on parking, right? If I'm holding on to that, I'm not allowing for the flow of abundance. And even though I know, like I said, I perceive it's a waste, um, being allowing myself to get into that space actually helped to relax me, right? It helped calm me. And so what we're being called to and invited to do is to let go of all these stories, right? All these past beliefs, all these past hurts, hurts that are not working for us so that we can move into this ushering of the new. And let me tell you, so um, the other story, like I said, I don't have time to share that right now, but it's around difficult, challenging conversations, right? So the combination of this two, what happened was really interesting. I um, am negotiating a contract in um, at a really awesome studio in Jacksonville. I'm so super excited. So I'll be teaching at a couple of spaces when I'm out there this next time around. And when I was um, on the phone with the um, with the coordinator for these workshops, she was talking to me, and I felt so calm. Right, the, the, it was what typically for me would have maybe been a challenging conversation, or I would have wanted to rush through. All of a sudden, I was like, oh my god, I was standing in my worth. I felt so calm. I felt so like just present, and it went so easily, like easier than probably any negotiation I've ever done has gone. And I just felt so like, like standing in my worth. And I was like, this is, this is what it is. Like, this is what feels right. And it just felt so easy, easy and smooth. And that's what happens when we start to clear out these past stories. So I've been, you know, if you can step up to the idea of being super grateful, right, for uh, these, um, uh, you know, for these opportunities, right, to lean into this, right, and start to recognize, like I said, these things are helping you to really move to your next level of yourself, right? My next level of myself, like, lives a life of ease, right? Isn't isn't in this flow of like, okay, like, oh, well, you should only spend money on certain things, right? Um, my next version of myself is in trust and is in that space of abundance, is in that space of ease and standing in her worth at all times, and that's where we all are meant to be, right? So just leaning into this past. So with that, if you are new to my energy clearing work, um, I'm gonna first connect you to the light. And I always say the light is the truth of who we are and it's the truth of who we've come here to be. And from what I've seen, it is the quickest and most powerful way for us to shift, transform and change. So we're gonna bring the light all the way through the body and I will walk you through that step by step. And then we're gonna expand that light out five feet, 10 feet, all the way out to the entire universe. And that's the return to us being infinite beings in a body, and that's the return to us being in our power. And when we are ready to own and to really dive into our past and look at why the things, you know, things that we are creating in our life and look at why we're creating those, and when we are ready to own that and then to um, really prepare to do whatever it takes to release those past stories, right, those past hurts, um, whatever it is for you, all of a sudden we are in our power, right? We are in our truth. We are in um, and owning the infinite beings in a body that we all are. So um, with that, just closing your eyes and just taking a nice deep breath and just breathing in through your nose and filling your belly and the sides of the body, the chest and the legs with air and just exhaling out. Cool. And just breathing in again and just taking a nice deep inhale and breathing in through your nose and filling your belly and the sides of the body and the chest and the legs with air. Just with your eyes closed, just connecting to the light, the light that's 300 feet above your head. And we naturally do this when we pray. So just see, sense, or feel that light, whatever comes up for you naturally. 
and just beginning to allow this liquid golden light to come down in through your forehead, good, down past your eyes, good, down into your nose and your ears, down into your mouth and into your throat, across your shoulders and down into your chest and heart space, down into your solar plexus, which is right underneath your chest and is our power center, down into your um, stomach and hips, down your back, and into your low back and your glutes, down your arms, good, and out through your fingertips, and then just down your legs and out through your feet, just feeling your feet coated in this liquid light, right, feeling every cell in your body coated in light. And just bringing this liquid golden light back up through your feet, good, up through your legs, up through your torso, and up through your face. And again, one more time, just seeing it covering every cell in the body, right? Every area of your body. So coming down into your face, feeling your cheeks and your chin and your nose and your forehead and ears in the back of your head, down into your neck and the sides of your neck and the back of your neck. Good. Down across your shoulders, down into your torso, down your back, the sides of your body, down your arms and out through your fingertips. Good down into your hips and glutes, down your legs and the sides of your legs and the backs of your legs, right? Feeling this liquid golden light going down into your feet. And one more time, just coming back up through your feet, up through your legs, good, through your hips and um, glutes, up through your torso, up through your neck and the back of your neck, and up through your face. And just expanding from above and below, expanding from your heart, and see this light covering the entire room that you're in. Just allowing your body just to open, expand, and breathe. Good. And just opening, expanding, and breathing. And expanding out into the entire building you're in, wherever you are. Again, just allowing your body just to open, expand, and breathe. Good. And just opening, expanding, and breathing. Knowing that when we create something, when we see something with our mind's eye, we have the ability to create it the secret to creation, one of the secrets. And just seeing that light expanding out across the entire city, wherever you're located, again, just super, super, super big, and just opening, expanding, and breathing, good. And just opening, expanding, and breathing. And out across the entire state, country, province, <laughs> wherever you are, just super, super, super big, um, and just opening, expanding, and breathing, Good. And just opening, expanding, and breathing. And seeing that light covering the entire continent you're on, again, wherever you are located, just super, super, super big. And just opening, expanding, and breathing. Good. And just opening, expanding, and breathing. And expanding out past the entire world, past all the cities, all the countries, all the continents, just super, super, super big. And just opening, expanding, and breathing and opening, expanding, and breathing. And one more time, just expanding across the entire world, past all the cities, all the countries, and all the continents. Just super, super, super big. And just opening, expanding, and breathing. And opening, expanding, and breathing. And now expanding out across the entire universe. Just all the planets, all the galaxies, all the stars, just super, super, super big. And just opening, expanding, and breathing. And just opening, expanding, and breathing. And in this space, taking in, again, the, that you are an infinite being in a body, taking in just how powerful you are, and taking in your connection to all things. Awesome. So just, we're going to start by clearing. So you're going to see these coming out of your body, right? And we're going to replace it with something lighter. So just everywhere that you're holding on to the past, right? Everywhere you're holding on to past beliefs, onto old stories, onto old junk, <laughs> onto things that are no longer working for you, right? And even everywhere, what I'm hearing is everywhere that you're holding on to things that are holding you back, right? That are stopping you from moving forward. All versions of that, you're gonna exhale that out of your body. Good, and just breathing in light, good. Breathing in love, and breathing in truth, and breathing in infinite possibilities, good. Breathing in light, breathing in love, good. Breathing in truth, and breathing in infinite possibilities. One more time, just breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in truth, 
and breathing in infinite possibilities. And everywhere um, you're not seeing these stories totally working for you, right? So everywhere you're not seeing, so everywhere something's popping up, right? To be let go of, right? And you're not seeing that as actually working for you. You're like, why is this happening again? <laughs> How many of us can relate to some version of that, right? And so um, everywhere where that's true for you, right? Where you're like, oh, this is happening again. Instead of saying, okay, wait, this is actually working for me. And now this is a chance to choose differently. You know, the story I showed at the beginning of this with being in the car, that was a chance for me to choose differently. Right? to expand into, to lean into, in the, that situation, spending money, right? So everywhere where you're not seeing that as that opportunity, just exhaling that out of your body. And again, good, breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in infinite possibilities. And breathing in truth, breathing in light, and breathing in infinite possibilities. Good, and breathing in truth, breathing in light, and breathing in infinite possibilities. One more time, just breathing in truth, breathing in light, and breathing in infinite possibilities. And just every version, so, you know, every version of your past that somehow you're holding on to to make yourself right or to make someone else wrong, right? So any version of where you're not letting go, any version of where you're not forgiving, any version of where you're not um, you know, just allowing for that space to step into so that you can really let go. And everywhere that that somehow makes you feel right, right, that makes you feel justified, makes you feel important, um, makes you feel like you're worth, I'm hearing, worth it, right? Any version of that, just exhaling that out of your body and breathing in truth, breathing in light, and breathing in love and breathing in self-love, right? The self-love that happens when we actually are willing to let go of our past and stand in our worth, right? So again, um, exhaling that out and just breathing in love, breathing in light, breathing in self-love and breathing in worth, right? And breathing in, you know, when, when we are willing to stand in our worth, right? Like the magic and the miracles that happen from that. And so just seeing your body filling up with love, with light, with abundance, with worth. Good. One more time, just seeing your body filling up with love and light and abundance and worth. Um, and just taking a nice deep inhale and just breathing into your belly and your back and the sides of the body and the chest. And if you can, some breath, bringing some breath down into your hips and legs. And just exhaling out. And again, just breathing in through your nose and filling your belly and the sides of the body, the chest and the legs and the back and hips with air. And just exhaling out just slowly opening your eyes. And so here's the thing that I want to mention to you. So the clearing statements that we just did, so all the things that we do when I say, you know, exhale this out and breathe this in, those are clearing statements, right? And the clearing statements that we just did are meant to open you up to something more, right? They're that first layer of what we need to start to open to and to shift to, to really, it's like, um, it's kind of like right now, like, you know, your past is all kind of, you know, so these pieces of, your, pieces of your past, right, are like kind of stuck in place. And what we're doing is sort of lodging them out, right? We're creating this opening for you to actually to start to open, right? And just to step into that next level of forgiveness, right? That next level of opening, that next level of love in your life, okay? So, um, you know, keeping that in mind, right? And starting to pay attention, like what comes into your field, so when you choose, you know, when, you know, as you're going throughout this week, right, I always say I recommend doing these multiple times throughout the week. You know, you can start your morning with it, but starting to notice, okay, what comes into my field as, um, you know, as I, as this week is happening, right? What's pushing my buttons, right? What's, what's creating some triggers in my body, right? And starting to lean into that and saying, okay, why is this here? How is this here to help me to grow to love to expand more in my life and then leaning into that versus going mm, I'm gonna resist it I'm gonna shut it down I'm gonna pretend it's not there I'm gonna try to move throughout my day you know um, I talk to my clients my friends <laughs> they'll tell you um, I am constantly in a process of clearing 
right? And I always talk about this, right? The importance of this. And so part of that means that sometimes I got to get present with something, you know, like I'm sitting in that cab on my way home and I'm like, I'm present to that trigger that's like, oh my God, I want to hold on to this. Why do I want to hold on to this so much, right? And it doesn't mean just sort of like pretending it's not there and putting my music on and, you know, shutting out the world. It means, okay, I'm going to lean in. Well, and how do I lean in? Okay, so I'm going to feel whatever is up for me. And a lot of times that means, you know, you know if you lived in my building on my floor, <laughs> I do have one client that lives in this building, but um, <laughs> if you lived in my building or on my floor, right, you'd hear me screaming, right? You'd hear me crying. You'd hear all the, all the good and all the bad, right? But that's how, like, how we stay in the light is by not resisting anything, okay? So that's how I stay in the light, right, is I'm present with whatever is, and I don't, and I don't resist anything. I just go there. I allow myself to go there. If I don't have time to go there in that moment, I make sure to set aside time to go there. Okay. And I encourage you to do the same. So, um, comment hi on this post. Say hello. Tell me where you're, um, where you've been listening from. Um, tell me any awarenesses you noticed during this week. This, this community is here for you. I'm here for you. I'm here to um, help in any way that I can. So I welcome any comments on this post, any questions you have, any awarenesses that are popping up, anything you're needing support around. That's what this post is for, right? So I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful uh, week ahead, and I look forward to connecting again soon. Much love.